great pleasure to welcome you to the maiden edition of the New Space Africa Conference on behalf of Space in Africa. The New Space Africa Conference is a high-level gathering of industry leaders, commercial space companies, investors, and other key stakeholders in the African space and satellite industry. Uh, well, I, I see a gathering of space, space experts and then uh, industrial actors where we come together and then see what everyone is doing and then see if we can strike some collaborations. I want to begin by thanking Space in Africa for organizing this conference. We appreciate the great work you're doing in informing the world about space activities in Africa. And in a special way, we thank you also for drawing the attention of the world to Africa's space ecosystem through this conference. Kenya is a hotbed of innovation and entrepreneurship. And we are very, very glad to host this conference and to talk about making Africa the new hotspot for space business. Ladies and gentlemen, you're most welcome to Nairobi. One geospit can, can serve a third of the world. So if I have to, with my, my, my limited resources, if I team up with uh, other countries, there's a way we can develop a, a condominium of satellites which can be of uh, use for our countries. In Africa, all those fibers from the submarine cable or terrestrial, we say that people were not enough aware. Sometimes we face that in the fed, they building the road, they cut it. Most of the time, this is drop, the drop and the continuity is not enough as satellite. For a private sector player, the entry level is a lot lower, right? So if you capitalize on that, there'll be more capacity made available. The question now is, when, once that capacity or satellite capacity becomes available, what do you do with it? As an end user consumer, you're looking for several things. You're looking for a pricing model that makes sense to you. You're looking for terminals that are easy to assemble. And you're looking for excellent service as well. So if, we are, if the private sector is looking at solutions that encompass all those things, I believe you'll find a role for new investors or new private sector players in that regard. Now when you use the term justice in the space community, we usually get some eyebrows raised and some quizzical looks. But essentially we're thinking about how we can ensure the equitable and accessible use of space data, but also space technologies, particularly for the sustainable development goals. Now through our research, we've identified a few key priority SDGs, and this is backed by a World Economic Forum uh, report that came out last year. And it's really SDG one, two, and three. So that's poverty, hunger, but also uh, health and well-being. One of the things that we, that I want to stop doing is asking for permission uh, from the rest of the world. I think it's, it's one of those things that we see, for example, when people talk about space debris. Right? They'll always look at the emerging markets and say, don't do this, we already have enough out there. We need to go in there, move in there, of our own accord, and make things happen. We're not asking for permission for space in space. My expectations coming here was basically get exposed to Africa in space and to see all of the, the interesting and creative ideas that uh, various continent partners have as far as getting into space, and it blew me away. Uh, having the opportunity to sit at the same table with heads of agency, uh, speaking with them, you know, just person to person was, was more than I had ever hoped for. And so Space in Africa has done an absolutely phenomenal job of kind of setting the bar really, really high uh, for all spacefaring interests to hear on the continent itself. So the potential in the industry is just massive. And um, I mean, we should all be very excited about that. Um, the second thing is there is no recipe there is no right or wrong way. There's nothing you can go and copy and try and replicate. But I do think one thing that I've learned through, and this has been a great privilege to be in between, to be with heads of space agencies and representatives of space agencies um, in a conference. You know, we have commercial and, and government together. The fact that I could have beers and chat with someone that's a head of a space agency, I mean, it's amazing. Um, and what I have learned though, is that one of 
what I believe the major changes that are necessary is for agencies and for governments to stop focusing on building that strategic asset for the country and that national pride. Um, focus, stop focusing on building satellites for the sake of being able to say I built a satellite, but start focusing on um, profitable, commercial, impactful applications through partnership. My expectations for the conference uh, was just to engage and get an idea of uh, what the new space economy looks like on the continent of Africa. Um, I, I've been traveling here for many years um, and I've been in the space industry now uh, for maybe a year or two. Um, my expectations were not only met, but exceeded. Um, it's been a wonderful event. Um, kudos to Tamadeo and the Space in Africa team uh, for putting together this most amazing event.